Bang! <laughs> make some cash and I'm talking decent cash the first concern is to say my cash you finally make your cash maybe maybe not quick maybe not as quick as gun running get back quickly and I said as quick as gun running it won't running because gun running you can sell seven five zero a million smugglers run and obviously you get all the ends up it's better my team with you start to make a good team then you're gonna shoot but what you'll be able to do as much team as you can so and that press Get a few people a bit dry playing still have turrets. I have a people don't like to go near it in case it does have turrets. I don't really know. So one of these the way to make money. Now if you it takes, right? You have to get fifty crates to sell for five hundred thousand. Fifty crates, it'll take about an hour. Full full, full thing. let me do the math on it. Right, it's still take an hour of a motorcycle club to create you possibly getting five hundred thousand in the bank once you've sold it. If you want to easy you know, I'm gonna do a video on that later tomorrow and this is getting 500,000 or 800,000 or a little bit more. the way you can get the 800,000 is if you get a crate now the only annoying thing is you won't make as much cash and you'll make more cash but in less time because you're gonna have to wait that timer down of like three minutes each time so if you let's count of it goes you'll have to wait three minutes each time you come back now if you don't do it that way you do it the way I've been doing as you'll see in the video you keep buying different what you buy the better because you're just keeping your stock, get the stock as quick as you can. It's ten. So you're probably thinking, well, that's going to take a long time to get five hundred thousand. It's different. It's in my life of making lots of cash. Now another this business before you before you set this business up, go over to the gun run. It's an old DLC, but it's not because you're still making cash, and that's the aim. Just to make cash for this DLC. Even for this, the most you get them to stock it up fully. Once it's fully stocked, you go off and. That's how you use the supplies. The supplies you can bring crates. That means you only need to do it. And then after that hour and a half, you go back to the back left until it's full. You fill it back to the right. Way. It's going to be better because then you can go back and do even more crates. But you can't. And that'll get you 500,000. You can stock it up again or 50 crates once you've done it. Go back and you just keep going back forward because it does change. It doesn't. Does it. So you just go straight in. Time, time off this every hour and a half. I'd say. You'll make eight thousand seven hundred thousand dollars in five hours. So work as a team if you can. The more the better. And we'll, we'll need more cash. You'll need to see I'm gonna smuggle since that's purely because I've got bunker already fully stocked up and at this point showing you the stock and just going back and going to one of the things that you have a fly but on a radio. You know, there's no point because it had me just quitting the game without any effort. no no outro because it wasn't locking on to anyone in the but uh, it was not recording it, so it's okay, guys. But um, make sure you have a good team. Yes, if you already have this vehicle in your garage, yourself. Don't be using other. Now, as far as my were, this in the game. As far as my were, now you can customize the engine, the uh, engine, on it flares, smoke to stop things, weapon armor, and it like that. Work better with your team. Go for it. Use it. Even hydras and use your own to take them back for these vehicles. Do it often and do easier. So do get the hydras out, fight missions, and complete them. Make as much. We make the max. We make quicker wood. The other way. As your online players, what I've noticed is one guy. Actually, I'm not sure whether it's in this video. I think it might be in the rage video. Got a few videos where back. You can. It's a DLC that's just had plain skins and things like that. You mess up that you get on the game. I mean, you know, I thought you were trying to target me and things like that. And I understand where the question, you know, they don't feel like he's playing to get on the cops, obviously. You've got a problem with things like that coming in other vehicles that are already in that the players in the game with his other and that. Sorry for now, a young kid that just wants to cause trouble is a crap as a hydro AC tank for a reason. So that they will just come and grief you, are not going to like it at all. Now, another thing you have to be wary is these missions on public sessions. Now, obviously, you've got living these missions, you know, you get a massive group of people and you just make sure you don't bother anyone because then they won't attack you. Now, sometimes you won't bother people and they'll just get my most annoying thing. Now, instead of stopping, you get that so that you join a full lobby or when you're in a small amount of people, get to get and keep out. So then it's only doing your mission and one more. You set up to do a glitch now. The only thing with the glitches, PC, it's really easy. I don't know if links in and how to do the glitches for all consoles. 
the and Xbox saying a playlist, leave and some joins you you need to join so much. You invite all your mates. yeah, that's a brilliant way. But when these all get packed, maybe now we know we've got private, so you can do it in private lobbies, get rock star cash as we can. So we come along, blow stuff up, we make less cash, we have less money because we don't want Rockstar making loads of money off shark cards. Because if you've noticed that they're using the same DLC every time, this is why and gun running and export and import and the CEO ones and the secure server ones and all that. The same DLCs, but the best way of making the money is because they buy expensive, aren't they? Because you've got to buy a bunker, a warehouse, and get an MOC club. MOC. And I meant a motorcycle club, by the way, guys, if anyone trig is triggered. Now, as you can see in this video, just hovering above. Now, this actual video was already pre recorded, you probably know. Uh, these missions are hard, but they're not too hard. They're only hard when they get A or AI, however you want to pronounce it. I'm awful at pronouncing that. <laughs> they are going to become absolute OP and get one foot, leg, hand, arm, shoulder, anywhere like that from a helicopter that's about a thousand from you. See the top of that mountain there? Yeah, there was someone standing on the top of that. Shot me. And I don't mean an online player, one of these people's, the. Uh, Piece, like the computer version of them, and uh, they blew me to and I went kaboom. Don't know how, but really good. Stingers in the one with the scrapyard, they have lots of stingers, so be careful for that. A warning because obviously, I'm trying to help you make it. You've got to be aware that obviously, that all the glitches will get patched at one point, and there'll be ways around these glitches again. And I'll keep it for you so you're aware of them. But if you get a solo session, that's perfect. Now, sometimes you can glitch your internet where your internet might glitch and you might get lucky. You, know, you want to make sure you're in a lobby with your friends. So don't do it just so you're on your own because you can't sell on your own a maximum cash of 500000 Otherwise, you need to make as much cash as you can. As much cash as you can, the better it is because then the less time you have to spend grinding for more cash other ways. Now, I know that we do a lot of races and get smashed, but when it comes to you want as much cash as you can. Yeah, everyone wants it. If I ask now on GTA, do you want lots of cash? They'll turn around and say, yes, obviously. They want to buy vehicles maybe that are already out and they've not got enough cash for. Or they want to buy the MOC, bunkers, warehouses, hangers now, things like that. New vehicles. But they obviously, they can't buy them without the hangers. So it's kind of clever how they've done it. And, you know, obviously, obviously, that's the way these are. Brief, it? But if you see someone flying around in Hydra, don't shoot down straight away. Wait. See if they come towards you. And if they keep coming towards you, maybe pull out a stinger. Aim at them. Lock onto them. But don't fire. That's the warning to let them know. You've locked onto them. And you've let them know that they're not coming anywhere near you. And basically, if they then turn around and aim you without firing at you, because you're on the ground and you're in a, with a stinger, so you've got a stinger aiming at them, and they see they're firing their turrets, probably because it's the best way to kill someone on ground, or they fire rockets at you, then you fire your stinger. But if you start to them and they're trying to do a mission, that can become a massive argument between two people because they're just going to spend hours killing each other and you're not going to make any cash between either of you, are you? You're just going to be killing each other. And probably losing cash in a way. Because sometimes when you die, you lose a bit of cash. So, best thing to do, just kill anyone. You see them in a plane, just leave them be. If they start killing you, then obviously kill them. Now, another way that you can deal with this is just join a new session. If someone's flying in around around in Hydra, on, before this DLC, when the gun running was out, I used to just leave a session. I could not be bothered going out, getting this done, getting back and being blown up just as I meant to be killed. But now I see it's a bit different. If they're chasing you and attacking you, then maybe leave a session. I would recommend the solo, the slight public lobbies and sessions like that because it's the best way to do it because I do it with my friends all the time. We'll get in a session, then we'll go, oh, well, there's no point risking it. Let's just go straight into a solo, solo private lobby. So it's basically, when I mean a solo private lobby, it's just you and your friends, not just you. You got groupy friends, the whole club, motorcycle club. But if you don't have one, you can just use your secure server. That's perfectly fine. You basically want to make as much cash as you can. The more cash you have, the better. Now, as you can see, we're flying back, no problems. Absolutely perfect. I'm on my own doing crates. There's nothing wrong with that. You want to do crates in your own free time to come on, or maybe maybe you don't really have time to make friends online, or you 
obviously really, really good when you just not got any mates on Xbox. I don't know how that works because literally you just meet people online all the time. But if my mates aren't on, I'll meet other people. We might not talk, but we'll add each other because we've done a mission together and it's worked well. It's gone perfect. We've done it quick. Add each other, join each other's sessions on next day and next day after that. You're just making as much cash as you can. Now, the best thing you can do is work together with as many people as you can. Now, if you want to join a session and do what I did and occasionally send the invites to everyone, if they join, that's fine, but don't keep spamming them. That's the worst thing you can do. Keep spamming them. Then they'll come after you and kill you just because you started annoying them. They're doing their own thing. If they don't want to join, that's fine. But literally, you will make loads of cash from this. Think about that. For an hour and a half's work with a full club of motorcycle club for people or secure a server, as much cash as you can, and then you live in life because you can buy whatever you can that much. Do it twice, that's a million. Three times, 1.5. Four times, you've got two minutes. That's going to buy you the most expensive car in the game. If you do it another time, that will get you. A bit closer to the most expensive car in the game, because obviously the most expensive car in the game is 2.9 million. Now obviously you need that, you're now on 2.5 million and you need 2.9. And uh, what you're going to do, you do another one, an hour and a half's work, but also you can't forget. So boom, you get out your bunker supply, you sell that for 1.05 million and you at least 4 or 5 million now. See what I mean? You're going to make lots of cash, you're going to forget you're making that much cash and you're doing friends and you're just getting on and doing the jobs. Now I know some of these missions can be really hard or annoying and I know it gets frustrating sometimes when they kill you like I know I will oh, In fact, I promise you I'll load that video over the next coming days of me raging like mad. It's kind of funny for you guys to see that even I, you know me, my missions, they never go wrong. Especially when I'm with Lewis, but this time I was on my own doing my missions and I've never failed missions before really. I did here here and there but I'm normally absolutely perfect with Jeep and boom I kept failing and failing and failing and failing people would blow me up or would blow my own stuff up because it was locking on so the best thing you can do is make as much cash as you can by doing as many things as you can from motorcycle club supplies so you might go and do a load of drugs crates stuff. Buy crates, I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're just losing cash. But again, if you want to do that, buy the crates. Buy two grand or I think it's eight grand. Buy the eight grand one, you're making a bit more cash. Supply that up fully, you know. Leave that then. You don't want to start going, oh, okay. Well, I've got this much. I don't want to waste too much. You spend maybe a couple of hundred grand with the eight thousand ones and maybe have that fully stock. Sell that. You don't really want to be bothering with the... CEO one, you want to do the motorcycle club one, the bunker, and now the hangar one. They're the best ways you can make cash. You'll make a couple of hundred grand off the motorcycle one, you'll make a couple of million off the bunker one, and you'll make a couple of million off the yeah. Today, I was trying to, uh, you know, really get you to see where you make cash, how you can make cash, you know, the beauties of having the solar I'm going to link in the description why you need to be working as a team really on this, how much money you can actually make, this is how much this DLC is really about, making as much cash as you can, having planes and helicopters and using them to make even more cash. Yeah, you 